welcome to my channel this is is great tutorial and what i do is solve technical drawing problems and i also provide very important information that you can make use of for you to have better performance your technical drawing examinations you are watching my video for the first time i want to ask you to subscribe to this youtube channel put on notification bell and help me to share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students and do not forget to like and um put on notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified and this is question four of uh neko 2022 and i want to show you how you can solve this problem um so the question says that the drawing below is a truncated right hexagonal pyramid question number figure one says that we should complete the given plan then we should draw the end view looking in direction of ROR. So this is ROR. So uh, looking at what we have here, looking at what we have here, we are told that distance from year to year is 50 millimeters. So if the distance from year to year is 50 millimeters, it means that distance from year to year is 50 millimeters. And this is these are two corners. So it means that distance across corners is 50 millimeters. Okay. Then the distance from this point here to this point here is 40 millimeters from year to year is 20 that is 60 that means total height of the pyramid is 60 millimeters and distance from here to here to this point where the cutting plane touch this side is 25 millimeters so let's see how we have to construct the plan and also the given elevation so the first thing that you need to do very very important don't ever forget this so you want to draw the front elevation of the pyramid and also its plan the first thing to do is to draw a center line so draw a vertical center line as i'm doing it here you can see the way i'm doing it so draw a vertical center line then you draw a horizontal center line like this okay now all right so the next thing to do is to take a measurement of 25 millimeters because the distance across corner is 50 millimeters so take a measurement of 25 millimeters with your compass on your ruler as i'm doing it here then place the pinpoint of the compass at the point of the section of the two uh center lines then draw a circle like this so draw a circle okay so after you have drawn the circle so you want to construct the hexagon so Put the point of the compass at this point here so make an arc up here and down here then you put the point of the compass at this point so here okay so make an arc up and down so the next thing that we have to do is to join the point together so then so we have to join so we are joining so this point together so we join this point together okay so we join this point together like this so we join this point together okay so we also join this point together then so we join this point together and we also join this point together okay so we have drawn the hexagon so the next thing that we are going to do is to draw the front elevation of the pyramid so how are we going to do that so the, what you need to do now is to come up a little bit and draw a horizontal line like this then so we are going to project a vertical line from each of these points so we project a vertical line from here so we also project a vertical line from here so you project a vertical line from here so i'm going to number this point so this point is point one this is point two this is three this is four this is five and this is point six so here i have point one so this is two comma six so this is uh three comma five 
and this is 0.4. So then the next thing I'm going to do is to take the measurement of the height of the pyramid, which is 60 from this point. So I will take 60 millimeters up. So this is 60 millimeters. So this is 60 millimeters. So then I'm going to connect each of these points to where we have that 60. So you can see the way I'm doing it here. Okay, so I will also connect this. Okay, then I will connect this too. All right, so we have this. So the next thing I'm going to do is that, so if you look at what we have here, so here we have this stuff from year to year to be 40 millimeters, and this stuff from year to year is 25 millimeters. So I will take a measurement of 40 millimeters from here. You take it from the center to 40 millimeters. Then, so from here up, I will take 25. So I'm going to so take note of it here. So that 25 and that 40. So I will take note of it here so i have that so the next thing i'm going to do is to join this two point together where we have that 40 and 25 so i will join this together like this okay then i'm going to make this line a thick line so this line will be a thick line okay so this line will be a thick line And this line will also be a thick line. Okay. So also the baseline will also be a thick line. So from here to here. All right. So we have drawn the given front elevation. So the next thing I'm going to do is that we are asked to draw the complete plan. The complete plan. So before you go on, so we need to connect the corners of this hexagon together so we connect this the corners together so we connect three and six together as we have connected one and four together so i will connect two and five together connect two and five together like this okay so i've connected them so the next thing that we are going to do to draw the complete field the complete plan to draw the complete plan so what we need to do is that so wherever the cutting plane touch this line so this line one this line two six this line three five and this line four we draw a vertical line down so i will start with one here so this is point one so i will draw a vertical line from this point draw a vertical line from this point down here so wherever it touches this line one so i will take note of it so it touches it here so the next is two and six so from this point so where we have two and six so i will draw a vertical line so i'll draw a vertical line here down so it touches two at this point and it touches six here so next next is three and five so here i will draw a vertical line so it touches three here and it touches five here then for four so i will draw a vertical line from here so it touches four at this point so all these points will be joined together so with a thick line so i'm going to join so this point together like this so i will join so this point together so i will also join So I'll join this point together. Okay. So I'll join this point together. Here I will join this together. Then I will join this together. All right. So now 
So we can't just leave it like this. So the next thing that we are going to do is to hatch the surface with our 45 degrees L square. So we hatch this surface. Okay. All right, so we have completed the plan plan as we are instructed. So the next thing that we are going to do is to draw the end elevation as we are instructed. So what you need to do now is to draw a horizontal line from this line that contains two and three. So draw a horizontal line from here to the right side because the arrow is in this direction. So we draw a horizontal line from here. Then, so we come to the center here. So we draw a horizontal line like this. Okay, so then we come here. We also draw a horizontal line like this. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is that. So I will take my 45 degrees square. So I set it at this point on the elevation. Then I will draw an inclined line like this. Okay, so after I've drawn this line, so the next thing I'm going to do is to okay i will need to draw a horizontal line here too at this base so draw a horizontal line extend this to the left or to the right side then whenever this inclined line touches the horizontal line that we produce out of this plan so we are going to draw a vertical line up from this point also this one we draw it as a center line because if here it's a center line but in the end elevation it should not be a center line but we first of all draw it like this Okay, then I will draw a vertical line from this point here. So now let me show you something. So this line, this line here, it contains two and three. So this line contains one and four. So this line contains five and six. So it means that here, so we have two comma three. So here we have one comma four and here we have five comma six. Okay. So with all this point that we have here now, so the next thing that we are going to do is to get the height of the pyramid. So I'll just draw a horizontal line from here like this. Okay. So then I'm going to connect this point, this point five, six together with the apex of the pyramid. So I will connect this together. Then I will also connect this together like this. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to draw horizontal line from each of these points. So where the cutting plane touches this line. So I'm going to start with point four. So if I draw horizontal line from point four here, or let me start with one. So one is up. This is line one here. So let me start with line one or point one. So I will draw horizontal line from here. So it touches this line. So this vertical line, because this vertical line contains one and four. So I will take note of this point one here. So this is point one, like this. Then the next is we have two, six. So I will draw a horizontal line from here, like this. So where do we have two here? So this line contains two. So this is point two. And this line contains six. This is like point six. So next, we have five. 3 and 5. So I will draw a horizontal line from here. Draw a horizontal line from here. So this line also contains 3. So this is point 3. And this line contains 5. So this is point 5. So the next is 4, which is the last one. So I will draw a horizontal line from here. So it goes like this. So it's mid vertical line. So the vertical line contains point 4. So here we have point 4 here. So what I'm going to do now is to join this point together. So I join this point together. Okay. So this is it. So then I will also make this line a thick line. 
you have to make it a thick line. So this line also is also a thick line. And this line is also a thick line. Okay. Then, so I make this line a thick line. Also, I will need to arch this surface. So with my 45 degrees L square, so I will arch this surface. Okay. All right, so this is the solution to the question. So we have the complete plan. We have the end elevation that you ask to produce, and this is the degree view. So it's as simple as I've shown it here. All you need to do is to practice. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Keep on practicing, and God bless you.